Belinda Carlisle, 64, reveals that record-breaking band The Go-Go's are done while promoting her new album Kismet and Summer Tour. The Go-Go's are a trailblazing all-female girl group that broke records with their hit debut album Beauty and the Beat, spawning worldwide smashes We Got the Beat and Our Lips Are Sealed. But lead singer Belinda Carlisle, 64, has hinted that the band may be done for now. While sitting down with E! News to promote her new EP titled, Kismet. The Heaven is a Place on Earth hitmaker was asked if there was any possibility for a Go-Go's reunion. I don't think so, no, she admitted to chief correspondent, Kelty Knight. I think it's done. I mean, everybody has gone on their way, and there is something to be said, we got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and there is something to be said for quitting at the top. The rock band, which was formed in L.A. back in 1978, consisted of Belinda, lead vocalist, Jane Weedlin, rhythm guitarist, Charlotte Cuffey, lead guitarist, Gina Schock, drums, and also Kathy Valentine, bass. The Go-Go's jumped into the spotlight with their 1981 album, Beauty and the Beat, which landed a top seat on the Billboard album chart. Our Lips Are Sealed is just one of the hit tracks on the album. The band later released other albums in the following years, such as Vacation, 1982, and Talk Show, 1984. Later in 1985, the group disbanded, with the members focusing on solo careers of their own. Carlisle notably achieved success with hits such as Mad About You and Heaven is a Place on Earth. The band got back together and released their fourth studio album titled God Bless the Go Go's in 2001. Ten years later, the Go-Go's received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2011, and held a farewell tour in 2016. In 2020, the Go-Go's appeared in a Showtime documentary that was directed by filmmaker Allison Elwood. The female band reached another milestone in 2021 after being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Thus far, the group has sold a whopping more than 7 million albums across the Globe. Also during the E! News interview, which aired on Friday, Belinda had the chance to discuss her new EP, Kismet, which released earlier this month on May 12. It is Carlisle's first new English-language studio recording since 1997. The extended play contains a total of five tracks, including Big Big Love, which was released two months earlier in March. She notably reunited with songwriter, Diane Warren, for Kismet, and the two previously collaborated on her 1987 album, Heaven on Earth. Warren has written top hits in the past for fellow stars, such as Cher's If I Could Turn Back Time and Aerosmith's I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. When asked how she and Diane jumped back to the studio together, Belinda admitted, well, it was an accident, because I was planning on retiring, but, my son ran into Diane Warren at a coffee shop, and she said, what is your mom doing? Let's call her. And so, they FaceTimed me and she said, I have hits for you. So come down to the studio. Belinda has also been preparing for her decades summer tour, which will kick off on July 1st in Georgia, in regards to what fans can expect her to perform. The singer revealed that her tour will contain material from her solo albums, her new EP, and also a few Go Go's songs because I want to and have to people expect that. Late last year in 2022, the songstress had previously hinted that the rock band would most likely not reunite while talking to American songwriter. The Go Go's are definitely winding down now. And I think that has definitely cemented the legacy of the band. She further explained, we all have our lives going on and different things. So I don't know if we'll ever really do anything again. But if it ended there, that's amazing. There's something to be said about going out on top. She also opened up about their 2020 documentary and expressed to the publication, if it wasn't for that documentary, I'm not so sure that we'd be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. People had no idea where we came from. They just assume we came from an American Idol type show. It really is an incredible story. So I think that created a whole new level of respect for the band. The Rock Hall was step two. The mother of one James, 31, whom she shares with husband.
Morgan Mason made an appearance on the Australian Current Affairs show, The Project, which aired on Friday to talk about her tour and kismet. Honestly, I think I have more fun now working and being on stage. I think because I'm more present and more centered, she explained. When I'm on stage, it's like meditation for me, because I don't really think. And so it's like an hour and a half of meditation. Belinda went on to explain that that she's looking forward to her Australian tour and spending time among some of her most dedicated fans. I've been coming to Australia since the early 80s, and I always have an amazing time, she said. I mean, I'm excited about doing my new material. I always have a great time. And I think Australian fans are some of the wildest fans that I have, so it's always really enjoyable for me. Belinda's Decades Tour will also come down under in November and December with dates around the country after her North American dates. When she is not busy on tour, the songstress resides with her husband, whom she tied the knot with in 1986, in Mexico City.